Hey guys, Brian with Thunder Laser USA. Hey, I'm doing a little job here, and uh, I thought this would be a good little video uh, to show some of the things that Lightburn and the Lightburn camera can do. Um, I've got a variety of different leathers here and different uh, colors. This is tan, red, orange, and gray uh, with the fade on the background. Um, it may be a little hard to see those colors, but we can brighten them up right there for a minute. So I've got these logos and uh, red is cut blue is just a reference line for stitching and in the cuts panel you'll notice that I have it turned off so it's not going to output in the job so when we look at a preview all you see is the raster uh, engraving that's going to go on and then the cut lines around it so if I turn that output layer on then it would actually try to cut that line so we're using it just for a reference point so I'm going to turn off output on the blue layer so uh, let me turn the uh, background back on, update the overlay, make sure that we are right. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. This one I'm probably going to stagger because it's round. So let me come back to that one, but this is a good example. Uh, let's drag this over here and then I want to create an array. So I'm just going to do something like this and then hit OK. Uh, and then let's duplicate that and then I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees and then get rid of one of them and then if I grab them again I can kinda nest them right up here like this get in a little closer make sure we're not overlapping anywhere let's pull them just a little bit this way something like that then we can back out grab them all and center them up on the leather and uh, same way with these we've got this one I'm gonna rotate it 90 because it's a little bit wider than it is long we'll get more out of it that way and we'll drag it right over here and let's do another array and we'll pop those on there like that and uh, the same with the rest of them uh, I can probably nest these a little bit differently. Uh, I think I can rotate those 90 degrees and stagger. And, and then on these, I'm sure there's a way with array that you can, well, yeah, you would, you would stagger them in just the same way. So let's do another array, except it may have to be stretched out a little bit so that we can have room. So see, you can change your spacings here a little bit. See if we can get one more on there and get our spacings where we can have that one. I don't think there's going to be enough room for seven. So let's just do this and space them out a little bit more. And uh, we can make a second row. And then we can grab this second row and then move it over a little bit. And I think we'll have room for all of those. Drag them back up in the middle. And then we'll do the same for this. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, I think. Get it over here close to the edge and I don't know if we'll be able to nest those in between one another but we can give it a shot let's see you may have to play around with it a little bit let's do uh, two rows and uh, undo Undo is your friend. I'm going to hold shift so that I can select all of those. And uh, then I should be able to bring them up here. Yeah, they're going to be a little tight. But anyway, uh, with a little bit of, little bit of messing around, uh, it's pretty easy. Let's see, we're not overlapping anywhere. We may be close. Let's see if we can drag this up in the middle. And they're hanging off a little bit. So you've got to do a little playing around. But, uh, and then we can look at our preview, make sure everything looks okay, and it does. And look at our cuts again, and make sure that line is at the bottom. If it's up here on top, it's going to cut the red lines and then try to engrave. And we don't want that. We want to make sure that's at the very bottom. So that is a workflow for popping out a bunch of patches on some different materials at the same time. I just thought that was kind of neat, uh, quick and to the point, so I just wanted to show you real quick. Until next time, Brian with Thunder Laser USA, have a good day.